Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. For some reason, you, the camera is not working. So I am going to use the external one. External one. Let me. Here we go. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. We're going to continue. Let me fix something here with this camera. This way. Yeah. There. All right. It looks better. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, hello, people. He has to be here. A little down there. Okay, better, better. Okay, people, hi. How are you? How was your weekend? Como les fue? How was your weekend? Tell me. Yes. Guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Me escuchan, me escuchan. Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let me see, let me check something real quick. Good evening, teacher, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for being here today. It's a pleasure to have you guys again. Uh, I'm telling you that the, the camera of the laptop is not working, so I'm using the external one. Uh, Moment, looks, please, teacher. Hi, it looks green and. Se mira bien verde el color. I don't know. No sé por qué. I don't know why. Maybe it's the filter. Because I think it has some filters right here. But I don't see them. Maybe it's. I don't know. Okay, uh, let me take attendance. After the attendance, then we're gonna start. It's not Monday, 17th. Okay. Ana Victoria Galán. Azalia Melanie Portillo. Present. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez Bernal. Present teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present teacher. Yes. Ah. Uh, I'm I'm going to be just listening today. Yes, I was actually reading your message right now. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you, yes. thank you. Okay, and uh, also Mr. Mr. Orrego. Yes. Okay, I understand. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Welcome. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solis. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Ives Mendoza de Flores. No, Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. I'm here to see. Thank you. And Jancy Andrea Solorzano Castro. 
present. Okay, thank you. There are many people missing today. Muchos que faltaron este día, que no están. Many people. Well, hopefully they will join us later on. If not, then it's okay. All right. We're going to start today is cl the class number 15. Uh, well, or the class number five, according to the unit number three. And you know, every end, every end of the unit, what we do is a uh, review. So today we're going to be reviewing last week's topics. Okay. Everything that we practiced last week, we're going to review it right now or today. But before we do that, I would like to show you, I would like to show you the presentation. And over here, people, in the presentation, I have, I have some questions. Look, class number 15, today is Monday, it's July 17th. Uh, this is, we're almost, almost in the end, people, we're almost there, we're almost in the end. We're going to finish on Monday. If everything goes well, if everything goes well with the sessions this week, we're going to be finishing or ending or wrapping on Monday. Yes. All right. Let's begin. I have a couple of questions here to start off. These questions are related to simple past, of course, because that's uh, our topic. And it says here, let's practice simple past. Answer the questions the teacher will ask you. Uh, there are just no questions, and there are uh, WH and how questions. So, people, I'm going to be choosing one one person. I'm going to be choosing one person, and that person will be answering the question or each question. Okay. Now, let me see. Let me choose a person. That person is Mayra. Mayra, you're the first one. And your question is this one. Did you like the movie trailer? That is your question, Mayra. Did you like the movie trailer? Mayra, hello. Okay, apparently Mayra is not there. Diana? Jamilet Maravilla, yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. This question is for you. Did you like the movie trailer? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, mm. And the line, the trailer, the movie. Okay. It has to be, yes, I did. Did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. okay. Yes, because we're talking or we're using simple past. In the simple past, we use did. And do is for the simple present. Excellent. Uh, let me see, Jorge Ernesto, did you en enjoy the trip to Costa Rica? No, I didn't. Oh, no, why not, because man? I wanna, I want to go to the United Kingdom. Yes, United Kingdom is beautiful. All of it. Yeah. Yes. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Another person, Melanie. When did you attend the training? When when did you attend the training? I, yes. I did. No. Oh. No. Uh -huh. When did you attend the training? That's the question. You have to be. Teacher, the, what is training? What uh, is training? Training has two definitions: training for sports or uh, on training, that area. The training. Entrenamiento, supongo. Yes, entrenamiento in the in the football area <clears throat> or in the football field, soccer field or sport field. Uh, entrenamiento, but but in the work or job area. It is capacitación. Yes. Okay, so when did I you attend, attend I attend the training Monday. On, on Monday. On Monday. 
or you can say last, last Monday. Good evening. Good Welcome. Evening. Thank you, Sandra, for being here. Attended, Melanie. Attended. Everyone attended. That is the past form. Attend is the present form or the base form. The past form is with ED. Attended. Excellent. Uh, Sarah, the next question is for you. How emails did you send to your employees? How many emails did you send to your employee? I did. No. Uh, I many did. No. I did many. <laughs> no. I I don't know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, remember. But it's the answer, the, the no, answer quantos, is yes. Quantos, but the answer is make... easy. You have to mention. You have to give me the subject verb in the past and complement. Did is not in the in the answer. I did send. No, did is not made... in the answer. What? Why is it so? <laughs> did did no what no what did? Oh, uh, I I sent. Mm -hmm. I sent more Jimmy. A employer. You say five or six emails. Uh, six. Six emails to my employees. Yes, six emails. Let me show you how the answer would go. It's a sent. The past form is sent. No es con de, es con te. I it's sent. Like Look, I sent. I sent. 60, 16. I sent. Okay, 16 emails. Emails to me employees. To me employer. Okay. I sent 16 emails to my employees. Yes, sent is the past form. Let's move on. The next person to read the example or to read the quest to answer the question, sorry. The next person is Brian. Can you do it, Brian? Yes, tell me, teacher. Okay. Oh no, this is bad. Why did you call your, your ex? It says here the question. Sorry. Okay, listen to me. This is the grammar for me. Yes, teacher. I did. Ryan? That's all? Ah, okay. Uh, yes, teacher, I did. I I called it and my ex. But why? The question is, why did you call your... your, your... Ah, okay. I called him my ex because I love her. Oh, Still. No. <laughs> no. Okay, this is the, the answer. decision. Sorry. The answer, the answer is perfect. Thank you for the answer. Just I don't know why the camera is giving me some issues. It looks very bad. It looks uh pale. Sorry, I guess pale. Pale, the chat. It looks okay, pálido. O, oh, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh. ¿cómo es la palabra? <laughs> Bla blancoso. I don't know. Okay, yes. There is Como another pálido. question. Yes, yes, pale, pálido, exactly. That's what pale is. Yes. Jancy? Hello, Jancy. Okay, yes, this is not there. Sara, Sara, no, Sandra, Sandra, Ibe. Yes. This is what this question is for you. Did you understand the last last week's topics? Um, we are using the. No, but look at the question. Did people... you understand last week's topics? The last topic. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you want do you wanna create the sentences in the with the how do you say, with the verb to be in the past? No, just answer the question. Teacher, <laughs> repeat in case. Answer the question. Did you understand last week's topics? 
Okay. Um, I, yes, I did. Okay, there you go. That's easy. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, very good. Another question, another question, Carlos Eliezer. Who did you write the report for? Um, hello, teacher. Hello. My brother wrote the report. No, no. Who did you write the report for? You. I. I, I read. Re, read. Oh, but you have to give me the, the, ver the verb in the past. Write is the present. People, what is the past form? Written. No, written is the past participle. No. Wrote. No. Uh, yes, I wrote. I wrote, wrote. <laughs> I wrote uh, the report, teacher. For. Para. Uh, for. For my presentation or my explanation. No, no. Person, person, person. Uh, for. For his. Um, I for, for, for I like right. <laughs> I no, no. Who? Para quién? Ah. You can for, say for, yeah. for my secretary, my, for my, my boss, boss, for my supervisor. For my boss, teacher. Okay, for my boss. Thank you, Carlos, for your answer. Thank you very much. There is another one, I think. I'm not really sure. Yes. What kind of car did you buy? Can I puede responder? A volunteer to answer the question. What kind of car did you buy? Yes. I did buy Honda. <laughs> a Honda, a Honda. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think I think we need we need some reinforcement in the affirmative form. Yes. Remember, people. Did did the word or the auxiliary did only goes in the negative form or questions, not in the affirmative form, okay? Yes. The question here is, what kind of car did you buy? I, the verb in the past, buy in the past? Bought, yes. bought, yes, bought, that's what it is. Yes, I bought. A Mitsubishi. I bought a Honda. Okay. Yes. Did no. Did doesn't go. It doesn't go in the answers. I mean, in the affirmative answers. But don't worry. I am going to explain that again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Where did the meeting take place, people? Where did the meeting take place? This question is for everyone. Yes. If there is a volunteer that would like to share an answer. That will be amazing or perfect. The question is, the question is, where did the meeting take place? Uh, is uh, I talk the officer? Okay, the meeting. I talk meeting the officer. No, no, the meeting is a subject. The meeting talk. The meeting talk. officer. The subject at the office. The theory, please. I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. I, I think the meeting took at the office. Okay, the meeting took place. All right, took place, took place at the office. Yes, okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Let's continue here. How many products did he sell last month? How many products did she, did he, sorry, sell last month? What about this one? What about this one? In this case, sales is in the verb, the past. 
That's the base form, Sal. Yes, you have to mention or tell me or give me the past form. I don't understand so the past form. Okay, no, that's okay, that's okay. What is the past form of the verb tell? Tell, the season, tell. Told. Okay, told. told is the past form, yes. Sell has the same the same pattern. Mismo, mismo patrón. Tell, yes. the past form, sorry, sell, the past form is? Sold. Sold, sold, S-O-L-D, sold. Yes. So so can you answer the question? He sold um, 20 products okay. last month. Perfect, perfect. He sold 20 products or many products, I don't know. <laughs> last <laughs> month, yes, exactly, exactly. Now, we're going to continue. Let me tell you what we are going to do. What we're going to do is the following. Let me open a uh, Word document right here. Guys, there is something you have to understand. You will never or you will, uh, sometimes you will forget, even though you have seen the topic or someone has explained the topic to you, you will forget a few things and you will not remember quietly. But uh, I'm going to explain to you the simple past in its three forms. Pa I mean, affirmative, negatives, and questions. Oh, yes? That's what we are going to do in this moment. I'm going to share a Word document with you all. And in this Word document, we're going to see the simple past and we're going to break it down. All right, let me write a type simple, the simple past. Simple past. There you go, better. All right. There you go. Simple past. It is used to express actions that are completely done. Yes. Don't forget about this. Son, uh, son como unos puntos bien importantes, okay? It is used to, you know, express actions that are completely done or in the past. Yes. There are... Oh, sorry. Okay, look, we use the past form of the verbs. Usamos la forma pasada en los verbos. O de los verbos. Yes. The past form. Another thing that is very important here, uh, we have two types of verbs. Regular and irregular. There you go. Look, we have two types of verbs, regular and irregular. Let's begin. Iniciemos. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let me do some here real quick. I'm not doing that. There you go. Okay. For affirmative uh, sentences or examples, we use three components. The three components are the subject, excuse me, the subject. The subject is the person. After that, we need the verb. Past form, let's say PF over here, PF. That PF is for past form. 
plus C for complement. Yes, for complement. Let me help you here. Regular verbs. Let's begin. Let's begin with regular verbs. Remember, add D, comma, E D, comma, and I E D to or E. Regular verbs is add D. E D or I E D to all regular verbs. Let me give you a list. Learn. Learn is a verb, a regular verb. Want. Cook. Carry. Three words. Okay. Learn in the past form is learned. As you can see, learned. Want in the past form is wanted or wanted. Cook in the past form is cooked. And carry in the past form is carried. There you go. So we add, we add the D, the ED, or the IED to regular verbs. And look at, take a look at the sentences. David or David. David learned. David, David learned Mandarin in China. Ma David learned Mandarin in China. Observen, no hemos usado el did acá, no está el did. In the affirmative sentences or statements, we do not use the auxiliary did. Okay. No usamos el auxiliar did. En español. No se usa el did en afirmativo. El did solamente es para negativos y para preguntas. Okay. Si en dado caso usted escucha el did en afirmativo, es correcto, pero ya es un tema mucho más avanzado que, que explicar. Okay, por el momento no se usa did en afirmativos. Okay. Yes. Look at the camera, people. High quality. <laughs> high definition. This is what I call high definition. All right. Another example. Let me make this bigger. This is very small. There you go. Another example, we can say uh, the doctor. Another example, look at this one. The doctor wanted a new watch. The doctor wanted a new watch. Okay, one more example, we can say... Uh, Tony carry three boxes. Tony carry three boxes. Okay. El cargo tres cajas. Yes. All right. Let's continue. There is another thing here that we need to take into account, and that is irregular verbs. Verbos irregulares. Irregular verbs change the form from present to past. Dice allí, cambia su forma de presente a pasado. It changes or they change the form from past to present. They are not the same. No son lo mismo, okay? Yes. So let me give you a list of verbs here. Uh, one verb, write, escribir. Write. Another one, speak. Let me use... Drive. The... Sorry? Drive, teacher. Oh, manejar, yes, drive, exactly. Withdraw and drive. It's an solo cuatro. Okay, we got right. The past form is, people, what is the past form? What is the past form? Okay. 
Road. Road. Okay, the past the past form is road. Road. There you go. Speak. What about speak? Spoke. Spoke. It is spoke. Okay, spoke. Excellent, excellent. What about withdraw? With three. Exactly, exactly. Withdraw, withdraw. There you go, we drew and drive is draw. Draw. Yes, exactly, exactly. Examples with this. Oh, what is withdraw, people? Okay, it's withdraw. Alguien sabe que es withdraw? No. No, you don't know? I don't know. It's it's when you go when you go to the ATM to the ATM and you take your money out. That is withdraw. In Spanish, retirar. Yeah. Oh, but that will okay. be that will be your money. Your money maybe in the ATM or you go directly to the bank and you withdraw your money. Yes, retiros on withdrawals. Que lo podrán echar. Retiros. So that's what withdraw is. Example, Mauricio. Oh, let's say Mario. Mario with withdrew his money earlier. Mario withdrew his money, his money earlier. Quiere decir que él sacó su dinero bien temprano. O temprano. Okay, earlier. Falta aquí la I. There you go. Okay. Another example we can say um, Hazel. Hazel spoke to her mechanic. Her car is back. There you go. Hazel spoke to her mechanic. Car is bad. One more example. Let's write it with the verb drive in the past form. Jorge drove all the way to look. Jorge drove all the way to Chatenango by himself. It's very far. From here, from here is very far. Tratanango is very far. Okay. As you can see, as you can see, I have not used did. No he usado did. Okay. So that means we do not use did in the affirmative statements. Okay. We use the past form of the verbs, as you can see. El pasado se usa. Yes. Okay. We got withdrew over here. Spoke in the past form. Drove. Up here we got uh, some verbs too. Okay. Let's continue with the negative form. Negative form. Negative form. For negative for the negative form, we got four four components. Tenemos cuatro componentes. Four components or four elements. Those elements are subjects. That is the first element. Did not is the second element. Or if you want, you can say didn't. Not a problem. You can say did not or didn't with no differences. Plus verb. The verb goes in the base form. Base form plus the complement, of course. If I can make it in a row. So, subject, one element. Did not, the second element, or didn't. Verb is the third element. 
the verb has to go has to go in the base form and the complement. Yes. Okay. Ray. Oops. Okay, it says here, regular verbs do not, do not add ed, or oh, sorry, ed, ed, or ied to any verb. Okay, no agregar la de, la ed, o la ied a ningún verbo, to any verb. Right, for example, for example, we got the verbs in the past form. Está en pasado, learn, wanted, cooked. And carry. Okay, in the negative form, that changes, changes completely. Okay, tenemos acá David learned Mandarin in China. ¿Cómo sería ese negativo? Would be David did or didn't your decision didn't learn. Uh, Mandarin, Mandarin in China. David didn't learn Mandarin in China. Okay, learn con ed está en pasado. Cuando usamos el did, el did ya hace que la oración sea pasada o la pregunta esté en pasado. Ese did es un auxiliar que expresa el pasado. Entonces. Ya que se usa en preguntas, perdón, ya que se usa en preguntas y en negativos, el verbo que, que usamos en esa pregunta o en ese negativo tiene que regresar a su forma original porque estamos ahí con doble pasado. Y eso no, se, no es correcto o redunda en inglés. So, learn. Incluso aparece una línea. ¿Pueden ver la línea que aparece ahí? Está subrayado. ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí, Can you notice that? Pueden verlo, sí. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sí, sure. And that is because because there is a mistake. Hay un error. Me parece a mí. Observe. Grammar, grammar, gram gramática en español. Double check the verb form form after the helping verb. Sí. Yeah. The helping verb. The helping verb is did. Es el helping verb es el did. Okay. Yes. Que dice acá hay doble hay doble verbo en pasado. Entonces no 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 concuerda. Okay. No hay un acuerdo entre los verbos. Y ponemos el verbo principal que es learn en presente. ¿Ok? David, learn, David didn't learn Mandarin in China. Yes. Let me continue. The next example says the doctor didn't, pongamos did not, separado, did one a new watch. The doctor did not want a new watch. That is correct. Okay. Notice, notice how the verb want goes to the it to its original form. Tenemos want acá en presente, no está en pasado. So it's it's okay. It's correct. Yes. Tony didn't carry. Tony didn't carry three boxes. Tony no cargó tres cajas. Tony didn't carry three boxes. Vuelve a su forma original. Yes. Irregular verbs. Do not change the form. Do not change the form of the verbs or the verb. No cambia la forma del verbo, okay? I mean in the past form. Yes. We have wrote, spoke, we have withdrew, and draw.
Examples down here, we got some examples. Mario withdrew, this is Mario. Didn't withdraw his money. That's like this. Mario didn't withdraw his money. Notice how withdraw goes back to its original form. It has to go like that, yes. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Let's continue, guys. Hazel spoke to her mechanic. Pongamos en, en, en el negativo. Hazel didn't speak. Sorry. Look, Hazel didn't speak to her mechanic. Hazel didn't speak to her mechanic. One more, one more. It says Jorge. Jorge didn't. Come on, did not. Separado. Did not drive to. Look. Jorge did not drive to Chalatenango. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now, do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? You can ask me. No, don't worry. No questions? It's clearer for me, sir. Okay, excellent, excellent, thank you. Okay, now, if you have no questions, it's okay. Let's continue with the questions part. The questions we do, we do or, or we change something here. Yes, we change something here. Yes, let me see. The first thing that we use in the questions or the first element that we use in the question is this. Did is the first element that we use in the question. Subject is the second thing that we use. Let me write only the S for subject. Subject is the second element. The third element is the verb. Of course, remember, base form. The verb has to go in the base form. Of course, we use the complement. And the last thing that we use is the question mark. So that's how we make questions. The same thing happens to the verb. We're using did in the question, so the verb has to go in the base form, not in the past form. For example, well, let's let me show some uh, other regular verbs. Otro verbo, otro verbo regulares. Talk, let's say. Uh, let me see. Argued light. And let's use light. The past one. There you go. Talked, argue, lied, and like. The verbs are in the past. Ahora, vamos a hacer unas preguntas con esos verbos. And take a look, observing. Did Did Marianne Did Marianne like the coffee? Le gustó a Mariana el café. Did Marianne like the coffee? Yes. Look at how it goes. We got here. And auxiliary, oops. <laughs> okay, did Marianne like the coffee? You can answer this question by saying yes. Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Another question can be, did, did Gustav, Oh, 
Another example, another question. Did Gustav argue with his co-workers? Discutió Gustavo con sus compañeros de trabajo? You can say, you can say, yes, he, excuse me, the, the comma, yes, he did, or no, he did not, or didn't. Now, let's continue with WH questions. Preguntas con what, where, what, why, when, etc. Where did she? Where did she lie about her job? Donde mintió acerca de su trabajo? Where did she lie about her job? Where did she lie about her job? People, ¿cómo respondemos esta pregunta? How do you answer this question? How do you answer this question? Guys, ¿cómo lo respondemos? Vamos a ver. Veamos. Hello. She lies. Mm -hmm. About her job in the experience. Okay, okay. She lied. No se usa di, no digan she did lie. No, no. She did lie, no. Okay? It's she lied. She lied. If the answer, if the answer is negative, then you answer in the negative form. Okay. I can give you a negative question here. Look. Negativa. Why didn't why didn't he go? No, no pongamos go. Pongamos este talk. Why didn't he talk to his manager? ¿Por qué no habló él con su gerente? Why didn't he talk to his manager? Ahí sí la iría, iría en, en, en negativo. He didn't talk to his manager because, I don't know. Okay. Preguntas. Do you have any questions, people? Y aquí está el pasado. <laughs> yes. Very easy, muy fácil. <laughs> A little bit, right? No questions, people? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Este, ¿por qué a veces se coloca did, pero al responder usamos el verbo en pasado y no el did? ¿Cómo? Es que yo vi una pregunta ahí que decía did, pero a la hora de responder solo pusimos el verbo en pasado. No. Yes. No, aquí está. Observe. No, en las que nos hizo anterior. Usted, usted, usted puede... En las preguntas abiertas. Ajá, exacto. Oh, ahí sí, 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 se puede. O sea, pero sí. ¿cuándo vamos a saber? que no vamos a usar el did y vamos a usar solo el verbo en pasado. Ah, el did solo se usa en negativos y en preguntas. Negativos. Respuestas afirmativas no se usa el did. Ah, porque es duda. Tampoco. No, o sea, en presente. Sí, sí, es porque es porque Estoy es confusión, confusión. <risa> Hay confusión. El did se usa para todos los sujetos. Para todos. Ajá, pero Ajá. en negativo y en pregunta. Todo, en todo, yes. Pero en esas preguntas abiertas, ¿por qué a veces solo colocamos como el verbo en pasado y no usamos el did? No. You have to, you have to, uh, no sé qué pregunta que se confundió. Recuerde qué pregunta es para ir, a, ir a, a, a verla. No me acuerdo, pero esa es la que me hizo. Yo dije, I did, y no era así, sino que tenía que usar el verbo en pasado. Sí, es que en ese caso sí, porque es afirmativo la respuesta. Si su respuesta fuera negativa, usar did not. 
Pero cuando a, 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 dice algo afirmativo, no usa el did, solo usa el sujeto y, y el, 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 el así, como está, así como está acá. David aprendió. Nada de did. Nada de did. Ah, ok. Porque si usted pone did aquí. Solo el pasado. Si usted pone did aquí, did learn, eso que está ahí es una. Es, está, uh, no hay un acuerdo, más, más bien hay un desacuerdo, hay un choque de pasado y pasado. No se puede poner doble, doble veces de pasado. Es doble de pasado acá. Entonces, uh -huh. tiene que ir uno en presente. Si sí, en este caso borramos el view porque no va en, en, en afirmativo, solo en negativo. Ah, ok. O sea, cuando hay un verbo uh -huh. de acción, solo lo vamos a decir en pasado. El verbo. Pero Todos no vamos verbos. a usar did. Todos los verbos van a ser en el pasado. Ah, ok. Sí. Vamos a ver. Vamos a practicar más. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. More questions? No. Ok, vamos a ver acá. Creo que no fue. ¿Cuál fue esa? No recuerdo qué pregunta fue la que me hizo. ¿Fue esta? No. I can't remember. This one. I cannot hear you. Microphone is off. Esa es, era, iba a decir send en pasado, pero no iba a usar el did. Exactly, exactly. How many emails did you send to your employees? ¿Cuántos correos le envió a sus, a sus empleados? Fácil, fácil. Verbo, comple ver, perdón, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, I, verb, send. Answer for emails. To my employees. Employees, okay. So I sent four emails, envié. No puede decir I did, I did acá, no se puede. No se puede. Si su respuesta es negativa sería así, el did, el did not. Yes. Okay. Vamos a seguir acá. Let's continue. Vamos. Before, before we practice, there is a lot to practice. Hay mucho que practicar. Vamos a irnos acá rápidamente a esta página. It's almost the last one. And look, we're not going to write down. It says there, write down the past form of the following verbs. Dice, escribe el pasado de los siguientes verbos. Pero no haremos eso, lo vamos a decir mejor. Vamos a ir uno por uno. Guys, what is the past form of the verb eat? Let's practice a little bit. Eat, the past form. Eat. Eat, exactly, eat. There you go. What about drink? Drunk. Okay, the past form is drank. Drank. Ahí está, drank. What is the past form of read? Read. Okay. The spelling, the spelling doesn't change. It is the same. The pronunciation does change. It is red. Read, red. All right. Write. What is the past form of write? What? Thank you so much. Wrote. wrote is the past form. What about sleep? Sleep. Slept. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Slept. What about cook? I showed you. Cooked. Okay, cooked. What about talk? Talked. Talk. Go. What about the verb go? Go in the past form. Do you remember? Went. It is exactly. Went. It, it is I went. went. Sorry, went. Went. What about send? Sent. 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 Exactly. exactly. Clean. Clean. Cleaned, yes, cleaned. Ese es con D al final, clean. Yes, pay. Pagar, paid, paid. Ahí está, paid. Dance. Dance. 
Danced. 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 Drive. Drove. Drove. Right. We saw this one already. Drove. Need. Needed. 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 Exactly. Needed. Need. Work. Work. Needed. Work. It. Work. 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 Meet. Met. 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 Exactly. Met. Excellent. Excellent. Met. Listen. 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 Stand. Listen. Listen. Es con T. Con T al final. Listen. 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 Stand. Es pararse. Stand. No? Uh, I... Stood. 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 Here you go. Stood. See? Sit. So. So, exactly. See, no. so. See is weird. So Play. is weird. Play. 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 Stay. 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 What about Travel. 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 Have. 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 Have, have exactly yeah. have give gave okay. gave take take took took aha no hay ni quién ni no por ahí no es que a veces no está ahí como se dice Jorge Jorge said it correctly don't worry Jorge you got it Jorge <laughs> excellent excellent type type Typed. 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 Miss. Miss it. Missed. 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 What about get? Got. Got. Yes, got. Look. 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 Feel. Look. Oh. Felt. 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 Try. 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 Yes. Watch. 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 Call. Call. Call it. Over. Uh, call. 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 Open. 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 Close. Close. Closed. And Close. where? War. 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 Do we have patterns? Tenemos algún patrón por acá? ¿No pueden ver algún patrón? No. I'm in place teacher. No? Yes, we do have one. Tenemos solamente uno acá. Que es, bueno, dos. Tenemos sleep. Miren cómo se convierte. Se le quita una I y se le pone T al final. Lo mismo que... Felt. <ríe> no pintado. No sé por qué. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué happened Same as felt. And the same as... Meat. Okay. People, you have to remember, you have to remember, or you, or you have to memorize the verbs according to the pattern. Así es mucho más sencillo memorizarlos, aprendérselos, de acuerdo a su patrón, su listado. Okay? Yes. Uh, people, can you please, can you please take a screenshot and share that screenshot to, in the WhatsApp group, please? We're going to use it, we're going to use it later on. Haremos uso de esta, de esta, de esta actividad más tarde. Yes. Please, can you please share it in the WhatsApp group? Si lo comparto, lo comparto, no, 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 me sale la, la captura. Sure. Thank you. Thank I you. send you. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. Yes. People, do you have any questions? No questions? Okay. It's okay. Now, in the book on page number 37, on page number 37, you're going to find this information. 
This is the last day of unit number three. Tomorrow we start with unit number four. Unit number four is going to be a little challenging because it is about some, uh, well, this field that is difficult to understand, okay? But we're gonna see that later on. We're gonna see the vocabulary and everything, but tomorrow, okay? Yes. So let's begin. Vocabulary practice. Write the missing letters to complete the words. Dice que escriban las palabras que le faltan para completar las palabras. We got from number one to number seven. All right. We have we have already seen this vocabulary. We saw or we studied this vocabulary the first day or the first, the second day. I'm not really sure. On Tuesday or Wednesday last week. Yes. What is the last one? The first one, sorry. Sorry? Pick up. Uh huh. Yes, pick up. Trees. Pick up trees. Pick up the tree. Pick up the what, sorry? Pick up the what? Pick up the tree, teacher. The tree, the tree, the tree. Or the tree. The word? Tree, 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 number, yeah. The tree. Pick up the tree. What do you mean we pick up the tree? Recoge el tres. No, I no. think so. No. Pick up. Pick, pick up the up, shoe. Pick up the, the phone. shoe. The phone. The shoe. Ah, uh, phone. Okay. Yes. Pick up the phone. No, people. We we studied. We reviewed. We reviewed this vocabulary last week on Tuesday or Wednesday. Go to the beginning of the unit. I think it's the beginning of the unit. I'm not really sure. In the beginning of the unit, you're gonna you're gonna see this information. Yes, right there. So go back and take a look at the vocabulary there. Uh, I cannot tell you the page, maybe 30, 31, I'm not really sure. Yes, and you're gonna see the vocabulary there. Go go back and take a look at it and come back here and tell me the answers. Remember, we are reviewing today. Yes. So it's okay. It's okay to go back. No problem. Yes. Diga me, what, what is the second one? The second one. Chai. Chai. Which one is it? Chai. Chai. Bye. Chai. Yes. Bye. Fries. H. No. No. Chai. S H. Ah, shy. Yes. Yes. No. It is not shy. No es No es shy. Bye. 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 Ah, bye. Bye. What about number three? Will. Sell. Sell. Cold. Well, oh, this one we have we have two, I think, but we sell. let's use call. Cold. 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 What about number four? Number four? Mm. Guys, number four.
Nadie. No hay. It's difficult. No, I told you, go back. Price. Go back. Get go price. back to page number. Which one? Is that price? Price. Price. Yes. In prices? In precios? Get price. Get yes. price. Price. Prices. Price. Okay. Yes. That'll be number four. Yes. Get prices. What oh. about number five, guys? Number five. It says explain. Explain. Okay, there you go. Explain. Number number six. Number six. Is complaint. Which one? Complaint. <clears throat> complaint. Okay, it is. It is what women do. Look at the women. Sorry, que soy igual de la garganta. <laughs> okay, complain. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, next, number seven. Number seven. Help. Help. Okay, help. Okay, that will be number seven. Yes, help. Thank you. What about number eight? We got double S and Assist. T. Assist, exactly, assist. ¿Qué significa? Asistente. No. O asistir. Ayudar, ayudar. Ayudar, asistir, ayudar. Mm -hmm. number, number nine. <laughs> number nine. Reset. Receive. 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 All right. Number 10. Understand. Exactly. Understand. Understand. Thank you. Number 11. Provide. Oh. Provide one's information. information. And the last one, people, the last one. Request information. Okay, request. Information. Request information. Okay, we got it. Number one, pick up the phone. Number two, buy. Number three, call. Number four, get prices. Number five, explain. Number three, complain. Number four, number three, number four. No, which one did I say? Get prices, number four. Number six, complain. Number seven, help. Number eight, assist. Number uh, nine, receive. Number 10, understand. 11, provide, provide one's information. And the last one, provide request information thank you everyone for your participation let's continue to part number three it says there vocabulary practice write adjectives to show a customer's satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product people let's write down one two one two three four five six seven no that's too much Let's write only three, three, three adjectives. Vamos a escribir adjetivos, adjetivos, okay? To show, to show the satisfaction of the person and to show the dissatisfaction of the person. All right, for example, let me show you. Dissatisfaction can be an un adjetivo, okay? This, uh... Disappointed, decepcionado, disappointed, yes. Satisfaction, it can be, let me think. Mm. 
Yeah, Pro Movies are amazing. There you go. So you're going to continue mentioning, you're going to continue mentioning adjectives to express or to show satisfaction, and you're going to come up with adjectives to show or to or to express the satisfaction. People, let's go, vamos. Solo tres, tres de cada uno, tres de satisfacción y tres del otro, de lo opuesto. Let's go, let's go. Three. Indisatisfaction, deception. Disappointed, es el, es el, es el disappointed, decepcionado. Uh, ok. Disappointed. Annoying. Wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Annoying. Yes, yes, take notes, take notes. Guys, are you ready? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Okay, you're ready, you're ready. Excellent. Okay, uh, I need everyone now. Everyone, please mention or tell me or share your adjectives in the satisfaction part. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to write them down. Dígame, dígame. Dijeron wonderful. Wonderful, yes, wonderful. What else? Happy. 
Okay, happy. Recommending. Sorry. Recommending. Recommend. Is it time? Appreciate. Is it time? Five star. What? What else? Five star. Grateful. Five star. Okay. Great. Grateful. Grateful. Yes. Okay. Grateful. Grateful. Please. What else? Sorry. Please. Mindset. Please. I don't understand. Hola. Bless you. Oh, pleased. Pleased. Yes. yes. Okay, pleased. What else? Excited. Excited. Okay, excited. excited. <laughs> okay, excited, yes. Very good. All right. We have we have many words, many words that can uh, express our satisfaction. We also have we also have a bunch of words to express the dissatisfaction or out of dissatisfaction. We have disappointment. What else can you mention? ¿Qué más pueden decir ustedes? What else can you mention? Angry. Okay, angry. Anger. Anger. Enojo. What else? Anish. Bad service. Bad. Uh -huh. me dijo Melanie? I'm sorry. Anything discourage? Discourage. Okay, discourage. What else? Regretful. Dislike. Uh, dislike. Como disgustado. Mm -hmm. No le gustó a Dislike. Unhappy. Ese es, un, ese es un verbo. Dislike es un verbo. Unhappy. Oh, okay. uh, unhappy. Yes. Unhappy. What else? I'm sorry. Displeasure. No sé si aplica. Uh, I'm pleased, maybe. Hmm. ¿Qué está la par? Lo opuesto. Regretful. Regretful. I'm sorry. Regretful. Repeat, please. Es que no sé cómo se dice teacher. Regretful. Regretful. Regretful? Yes. Arrepentido. Yes. Arrepentido, yes. Ah, yes, anodin. Ya no es espacio. <laughs> There are no more space. There's no more space. Okay, we got disappointed, anger, bad, discouraged, uh, disgusted, unhappy, and pleased, regretful. Okay, questions. Questions? No. Okay, hold on. Tengo un problema acá de, de alergia, people. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to get sick. I hope I'm, I don't get sick. Let's continue, people. Another activity, it says, it says here simple past. Now we're gonna practice the simple past. Transform, transform the negative sentences into positive ones. We got number one, sorry, one, two, three, from one to seven, eight. Eight sentences in the negative form. People, let's make these sentences into the affirmative form. Iniciemos, let's begin. I'm going to give you from five to six minutes to do this. From five to six minutes. People, let's go. Iniciamos. I'm going to give you five or six minutes.
dog is barking. Are you guys ready? Finished, teacher. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. Who else finished? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. Iniciamos. Uh, I need a person to mention number one or to share number one. It says, well, read, read both. Read the negative sentence and then give me the affirmative one. Un voluntario. A volunteer, please. Number one. Santa. Hello. Okay, let me choose a person. The negative uh, positive. Both, ambas. Mm, yes. Ambas, Leah. She didn't buy that computer. Mm -hmm. She buy that computer. She? She buy? That computer? No. She do. She bought um. She bought that computer. computer. Remember, estamos en pasado. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayra. Read number two, please. Thank you, Mayra. Hello. <laughs> Um, two. <clears throat> we didn't bring that package. 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 <clears throat> we brought that 
package. Okay, we we brought two. the package. <laughs> We brought that package. Observen el patrón de arriba con el de abajo es lo mismo casi. Bueno, es lo mismo, solo la era la diferencia. No, brought, brought. Number three. Brian, can you practice or tell me number three? The client didn't call oh. yesterday. The client. Okay. Yes, yes. The client, the client called it. Yes, Saturday. Okay, there you go. The client called yesterday. Sandra, read number four, please. The employees didn't read the email. The employees wrote the email. Okay, the employees didn't read the email. And the employees wrote the email. Red. Red. I missed. I missed. That. Yes, it's okay. Remember, remember the color. The color. The color rojo. Red. Red. All right. Thank you, Jorge. Read number five, Jorge. Sure. Our boss didn't come back last week. Password, I mean, in the primary. Our boss. Yes. Yes. The um. our boss. Come back last week. Okay. Came. Came. Came back last week. Came back last week. Okay. Come is the present or the base form. Came is the past form. Came. Okay. Sure. Came. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. Ana, can you read number six? They didn't cancel the meeting. And the answer is... They cancel the meeting. Yes, they didn't cancel the meeting. They cancel the meeting. And they cancel the meeting. Yes. Uh, number seven. Let me see number seven. Diana, read number seven, please. Thank you, Diana. Okay. Uh, the lady. Didn't mm -hmm. want to complain. Yes. The the lady uh, go to complain. The lady wanted wanted wanted, wanted, wanted to complain. To Quería. Complain. Okay. Wanted. Okay. Wanted. Wanted. Carlos Eliezer, can you read the last one? I I sent the reform to his email. Okay, I sent the refund to his email, to this email. Okay, I did say I didn't send the refund this, to this email, and Carlos dijo, I didn't, excuse me, I didn't send the, sorry, I sent. There you go. I sent the refund to this email, okay? Yes, people, we got it, we got it. Thank you very much. Now- Teacher. Yes. Cancer is with double L. Double L, no. No. Why? No. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I, when I- Uh-huh. I yes. see with double, double L cancer. Yes. You are right. Tiene mucha razón. Tiene mucha razón. Let me tell you this. Uh, remember, we have we have different different uh, como puedo decirle different uh, 
uh, different spelling, the letreo, spelling in in different different uh, places, you know, Australia, England, uh, China, they have different different spelling, different vocabulary, different words. In Inglaterra, si se usa ese cancel con doble L, al igual que travel con doble L. Okay, yes, yes. It depends, it depends on the place, depende del lugar. Pero si se puede, se puede con, la, con una sola L o con ambas L. Yes. yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Good. Good question. Good question. More questions? No? Okay. Very good. Vamos a ver si encontramos un poco más de información sobre eso. Te la buscaré en Google para que vean que no. No les miento. <laughs> Number five, four. Simple past information questions. Create information questions using the verb, the verb given, then ask the questions and write the answers. People, I'm going to give you again five minutes to complete this one. No, four. Four minutes. Please, only the question from, from one to six, only the question. Use the verb that you have in parentheses to make the question. Only the question, the answer, no, okay? People, let's go. I'm going to give you from three to four minutes. Dime acá un segundo. Teacher only yes. use the with the did for the question. Yes, we have to use the with the questions exactly. Okay. Let me help you with one. Add uno para que vean como sería. Con cualquier pregunta, okay? Pero no dice si yes or no, verdad? It doesn't mention it's oh information questions. Uh vamos a ver. Let me give you one example of what you're gonna do. Let's use read. Example, where did you read the, where did you read the magazine? Donde leíste la revista? Where did you read the magazine? Yes. You can write about anything. Pueden escribir acerca de cualquier cosa. Yes. to get my charger people give me a second my battery is dying i need the charger give me a moment i'm going to go get it
guys, are you ready? I think we're ready. Guys, are you ready? Ready, ready. It's Monday. You look sad. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's share the first one. I'm sorry. Yes, it's Monday. <laughs> Monday is Monday, yes. Full energy. Bien recargado, el de sábado y domingo, bien recargado. De energy. No cargaron baterías, no cargaron, ¿verdad? No cargaron baterías, no, no, no. Is lazy. Yes. But people, ya casi vacación. Almost vacation. Almost, almost. En como en, diez, en 15 días. En like 15 days. So, be patient. Ok. Uh, I think you guys are ready. Let me see. What do you have in the first one? I think I can tell you number one. Did you take a shower? Sorry? Did you take a shower? The question is correct, but no es lo no, que no, no, pide aquí arriba. Ish. Sorry, permítame. Aquí arriba pide simple past information questions. Yes. Con what, where, why, what time. Ok. Solo póngale esa, esa palabra al principio y listo. Mi teacher. Ok. Hazle. La, la siguiente, hazle. No, la misma, la misma, está bien. Número uno, número what, uno. What do you do in the park in the morning? Repeat, repeat it, please. What do you, what do you do in the park in the morning? Ok. Maybe what did you do? What did Yes. Yes. What did you do in the park in the morning? Yes. What yes. did you do? All right. Number two. Alguien que la pueda leer. Número dos. Where did you go to the supermarket? Where did you go? To no, the no, 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 no. Where? No, teacher. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I think where went? No. She said, no. Where did you when? go? When? It's when. No, no, no. En pregunta no va when. Lo no. Dijo bien. Lo dijo bien. Solo que dijo in, to the supermarket. Como, ¿dónde, dónde fuiste al supermercado? <laughs> Where? Where 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 did you go? Maybe where did you go in the morning? Where did you go last teacher. weekend? Teacher. Yes, Asalia. Where will you go on Saturday? Repeat it, please. On Saturday is, is correct. Where Repeat will it. you where where will you go on Saturday? No, where did you go? Where, where did, did you did, go? Uh-huh. Where did you go? Did you on go Saturday. on Saturday? On Saturday, yes. Where did you go on Saturday? Exactly, exactly. Okay, yes. Sure. Very good. Okay. Uh, alguien más? The same, the second one, the second one. With go. Con el verbo go. Alguien más que la puedo decir con el verbo go? No sé. Where did Marta go to the, on Sunday? Where did Marta go on Sunday? Okay. Así dijo, ¿verdad? Mm-hmm. Sí. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Where did Marta go on Sunday? Go to yes. on Sunday. Go, go to on Sunday. Yes. Where did Marta go to on Sunday? Yes. Or, or where did Marta go on Sunday? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Anna, for your participation. Let's continue uh, sharing the third one with the verb by. Alguien, anybody. Number three. Lo voy a intentar. Okay. When did you buy the car? Okay. When did you buy the car? Exactly. When did you buy the car? You are right. You are right. Anybody else? Alguien más que lo pueda compartir? El mismo ejemplo. Number three. What did you buy online? Okay. Where did you buy online? All right. What? Where did you buy online? Okay. Thank sure. you. When yes. did you buy the red shoes? Where did you buy, sorry? The red shoes. Okay, the red shoes. Where do you buy the red shoes? Okay. Let's continue with number four, with the verb work. Guys, can you give me your examples? Work. Hello. I, I, I try. Who did they work in vacation? Who did they work on vacation? On vacation. With. With. Okay. No, we said with al final. With. Okay. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más que la pueda compartir el número cuatro? With work. When did you go to guard? No. Mm -hmm. La pregunta está bien. When, when did you go to work? Pero no, also when. Work. Es when. When, cuando. Yes, when. When did you go to work? Okay, yes. It is correct. Está correcta, pero no uso work como verbo. Uso el verbo go, ir. Yes. Y uso uh -huh. work como trabajo, no como verbo. Y yes. sure. Uh -huh. And it's... what day did you work on vacation? What did they, Sería, what did they? You, you no, work what on did, vacation? What did they work on vacation? What did they work in... on on vacation? What Como did they? En, ¿En qué trabajaron en las vacaciones? Yes. I just think a child. What did they work on on vacation? What did ¿En qué they... trabajaron en las vacaciones? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, the, let me continue here. Number five. We're going to hear again. Vamos a ver. Carlos, number five, Carlos. Uh, um, what book do uh, you read? Did you? Did you? Repeat it, Carlos. What um, book? What, what the, what's the book no, no, you read book? in the school? So, yeah, what book, Carlos? What what book? Book? Okay, okay. What, what book did you read you um, yeah. in, the, in the school? In the school, yes. Fantastic. What book did you read in the school? Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you, Carlos, for your participation. Jansi. Are you there, Jancy? I think she's not. Okay, Mayra, number five, Mayra, la misma, numero cinco. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> what, did he, <clears throat> what did they see on TV? Okay, what did they see on TV? All right. Okay. Pero no, no es el verbo leer ahí. Le, 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 repítalo. Oh, re, what, what did, did they see on TV? La number six. six. Ah, okay. What did they see on the TV? Okay. Okay, number six. 
All right. It's okay. It's okay, Maya. Don't worry. Don't worry. When do Diana, you see the new movies? Diana, number six, Diana. Okay. Uh, when you see the email, I'll send you. Repeat it, please. Um, why you see the, the email I sent you? Why did you see? Como, ¿por qué viste? Why did you see? Oh, did you see? Yes. Sí, sí. What, why, why did you see? Oh, the or email. what? Or what did you see? Why did you see emails I sent you? Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, okay. Another person, Jorge. The last one, Jorge, with the verb C. Where did you see this movie? Okay, where do you see this movie? All right, where do you see this movie? People, excellent, thank you. We, we, we're we going to continue. Hello? People, do you have any questions? Any questions? No? Okay. Okay, we have, we have uh, practically finished today's session. Yes. Uh, but I do have, I do have one more thing to show to you guys. Because uh, that's very important. And uh, yep, let me show it to you right now. Estamos aquí con, con Ana, que está un poco confundida. Pero acá le muestro, mire. Like, like American English and uh, British English are, they have their differences in many, many, in many, many situations or, or areas. Look at this one. It says, the rule says there, se congeló esto. Okay, look, uh, uh, ending in uh, vowel plus L, this is what happens. Look, double, they double it. Modeling, modeling. Canceling, canceling. Canceler, canceler. Equaling, equaling. Fueled, fueled. That's what they do. Okay, observing? Both, both are correct. Both are correct. No problem. All right. Look here. Center, center. Lo mismo. Se dice lo mismo. Center. Or you can say center, 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 fiber, fiber, matter, matter, kilometer, kilometer, later, later, the same thing, threader, threader, not theater, this is threader, theater, theater, luster, luster, it's the same, it's the same thing with the spelling difference. Es lo mismo, pero se pronuncia lo mismo con una diferencia en deletreo solamente. Yes. All right. There you go. And they do have they do have uh, vocabulary differences too. Yes. Okay, people. Uh, let me remind you that today is the last day to work on the platform. You have to complete unit number three. Yes. You have to you have to have it complete by today. I haven't checked the platform to be honest. I will check it today after class. So if you haven't worked on the platform, uh, you need to do so today after class because I'm going to check and I'm going to update the information today. Let me see, let me see. If you guys have issues with the platform, you have to let me know. If you guys have issues with the platform, you have to let me know, yes. You have to let me know. Okay, yes. Most of, I can see that most of you have worked. It's not this one, not that thing. <laughs> Sorry. I want this. It's been long gone. I was in the wrong one. So I was telling you that well, I was I haven't checked the platform yet, but there are many things that you guys need to work on. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. So you can see what you have to complete is part number three or HW03, this one, this section down here. It has to be uh, at least at 80%. And I can see that some of you have not worked yet. People, you have to work on the platform today, please, after class, because I'm going to check right after class. And I'm going to update your information right after class. All right. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. Let me tell you who is going to stay. ¿Quién se quedará este día? Que no se, no se quedó el día, el día viernes, se fue. Me dejó abandonado. Le dije que se quedara y se fue. Mi fue Sara. <laughs> no, teacher, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Sara. <laughs> lo siento, lo siento. I apologize. Okay. Pues vaya a ir. All right. Let me see. People, let me take attendance. We have already finished, and uh, well, we just have to do that. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Cordillo. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Rego is there as a listener, so he's there. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Denise Alejandra Zuniga is also there, but she's uh, at an event. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Estuvo ahí, ¿verdad? Creo que sí, pero no. Estuvo como oyente. No, no, I don't see her. No, I don't see her. So, no. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, uh, Sandra Yves Mendoza. Present teacher. Sara Rachel Salazar. Present teacher. And Jancy Andrea Solortano. Okay, there you go. People, thank you very much for uh, joining today's session. I will see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we start unit number four or we start the last unit, okay? People, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Descansen, cuídense, y nos vemos. Thank you tomorrow. Menos Sara. Menos. Don't leave. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, my cuatro acá, mire. Es un segundo, ¿sabes? Que espera que se, se retiren ellos. Yo creo que quieren escucharlo, no, pronto. No, que es, es, dicen oyente y no están conectados, están solo escuchando. ¿Se durmió? They're sleeping. <risa> <risa> ok, hi, Sandra, Sandra, Sara. Se parece a mí, lo confundo. No Sandra, me dice Sara. Raquel, me dice Sandra. Eh, mire, esta cámara, está bien, <risa> esta cámara está bien fea, no sé por qué se pone toda pálida. Y nada, I don't understand why, la, no, 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 la, la, no sirve la, la tablet, la, la compu, no sirve. No entiendo, no sé. Aquí Maybe no. do you vote the computer new? <laughs> esta nueva la laptop, esta nueva. Tenía, ya tenía una, pero estaba demasiado lenta y la tuve que cambiar. Tengo entonces esta hora. Yes. Ok, dígame. Tenemos aquí unos cuantos minutos para poder este, aclarar sus dudas, su, su confusión. En cualquier tema que hemos visto. Puede hacer las tareas que no las, no las no me salen, por favor. No sé por qué no me salen. Estoy dando duro ahí. ¿Será que lo hago mal? Yes. <risa> yes. 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 Va, vamos a ver entonces. Sí, sí, yo... uh, ¿En qué parte se ha quedado? Sara? Vamos a ver. Aquí aparece, mire. Oh, 
trabajar, yo creo que ya ni existo ahí, mire. Ha trabajado 20, tiene que subir, tiene que subir este, este, este que está acá a 80, por lo menos a 80%, subirlo a 80 o 90, ¿ok? Yes. Voy a intentar mañana volverlo a hacer y si no, ahí lo voy a escribir. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver acá, entramos entonces a la unidad 1, esperen. No, se equivocó, o tiene confusión, ¿verdad? En la, en la parte número, ¿en qué parte es? Creo que es como el examen, algo así. En el examen, ese que está acá, este. No, en, 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 en sí que solo es, unidad, es unidad 3, no, no es unidad 3. Eh, donde uno tiene que escribir, porque eso es lo que me está dando problema. Lo que este, tiene que ser acá. Eso es lo que no me sale nunca, me sale. Vamos a ver. Creo que tiene que ser este último. ¿No es ese último? Cabal, esa de donde, donde uno escribe. Este se llama la foto, ¿verdad? Pero no me acuerdo cuál es. Esta es, la es, es que se equivocó. Vaya, pero ahí... ¿Por qué no me sale si es Dice, cierto? Dice, escribe las siete oraciones positivas a negativas en pasado. Es lo que estamos haciendo hoy. Eso, ahora fue un repaso nomás. Un repaso. Uh, lo que podemos hacer aquí, ponemos her dog. Ponga lo mismo, mire. Her dog was, después de was, ponga not, y luego there's. Bye. Y el, y el y punto. Le sale, le sale. Ah, pero me dijo por el punto, pero le falta no, la S. No olvide el punto. Ahora, vamos a irnos aquí a, a chequear, a enviar. La S le faltó. No le sale a... mala, se sale mala porque me equivoqué. Ah, sí, sí. Una S. Thursday. Hoy oh, sí, Thursday. Si aún sale mala, en este caso, si le da clic acá y dice enviar, le, da, le sale mala todavía, entonces la plataforma no acepta, no acepta el was not. Lo acepta solamente en contracción. Nosotros mm. estamos entonces acá con wasn't. Vamos a hacer aquí abajo a enviarlo. Si sí, aún así no lo acepta, okay, no recibe. Okay. Y si en todo. Pongo, si, lo pongo, si lo pongo como was not, también está correcto, solo que la plataforma no lo acepta. Así. Y en okay. eso donde dice iPhones. Sería lo mismo. Sería, sería lo mismo. Was sería, not. No, 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 no. No was not. Es que, es que el was se usa para adjetivos, para descripciones. Si usted ve acá. Thirsty es sediento, es una descripción de una persona o de, en este caso de un animal. El perro está sediento. Y acá mm. dice encontré, encontré es la acción, found es la acción. Este sería el did ahí. Sería el did, pero ese found tiene que regresar a su forma original. Ah. Ajá. Ponemos ahí el I, luego del I va el did en negativo. Did, si usted puede poder ponerlo, ponerlo contractado, did, did. Y el verbo found en su forma base es find. Ten dollars. Dollars. On the street. No olvide el punto. No olvide el punto. Démosle a enviar. A ver si se hace problema. A ver si se hace regla. Ahí está. Ya le digo. Ok. Si no acepta, así como está aquí, did, usted puede poner lo separado. Did not. Yo creo que no lo acepta separado, solo unido como contracción, contractado. Didn't. Y tiene que regresar el verbo a su forma original. Vamos a ver, intentemos con esta, dígamela. I was not. I was not o wasn't. ¿Por qué usa was not? ¿Por qué dígame? El was se, se puede usar en pasado también, sí, sí. Pero recuerde, tiene que haber un adjetivo en la, en la oración. Si hay un verbo, es con el did. Y tenemos ahí went. Went when, es un verbo. Que, es, que fue. Exactamente. Entonces sería I didn't went to the beach. I didn't, I didn't. Recuerde, I didn't. Y recuerde esto. El verbo tiene que pasar a su forma original. Si, si usa el did. Entonces, I did go. go I the, didn't, I didn't go. Go to the to beach the, last week. To the beach last weekend. Y el punto. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, mira la cuatro, number four. Mm -hmm. I was upset with her. Upset es un adjetivo que significa enojado. 
yo estaba enojado con ella. Tell me, dígame. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh -huh. Pero y ese object está en, en pasado, ¿es verbo base o es base? Oh, el... Upset es un adjetivo. Recuerde. Ah. Si, si, si aparece was ahí, tiene que ir un adjetivo. Ah, ok. Sí. I was el was y el word se usa para adjetivos. No tiene que ir un verbo, ¿verdad? No hay verbo ahí. El verbo, verbo es was. El verbo yo... es was. Como yo estaba. Ese es el verbo. Was. Y de ahí va el adjetivo. Ajá. I was upset with her. Estaba, no estaba enojado con ella. O no estaba okay. molesto con ella. I flew yes. to San Francisco last year. Volé a San Francisco el año pasado, dice ahí. Ajá. Pero en este caso, como a fui es volar y es un verbo, entonces le voy a poner I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Pero flow es fly, ¿verdad? Verbo normal. Flu, flu, flu. Flu. Sí. Flu. Fly, exactly. I didn't flu. No, flu está acá. Es como se pronuncia. Flu. Es fly. Fly, exactly. So San Francisco, let's hear. Last year. Y las otras serán iguales, las que van después. A saber. Podemos. Wow. Fantástico. <laughs> Okay, this one, la última. This is la última. Uh, change the following negative. Okay, acá es lo opuesto. Dice, cambia las siguientes versiones negativas a positivas. Dice, ten cuidado con la forma del ver. Okay, es lo mismo. Entonces, aquí, sería... Es, aquí sería lo opuesto. Aquí sería es lo, que estamos, lo, que, lo que teníamos en la... En la, en la lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Está en el libro. Es, es, es lo mismo. Yes. Ahí dice, she didn't buy that computer. Borramos el didn't. Eso es lo que haremos. Borrar el didn't o el wasn't y poner el verbo en pasado. Entonces, she did. No, no, no. No va el didn't en afirmativos. Sí, lo acabo de decir, pero me olvidó porque estoy. Recuerda, ese, ese, ese did, ese did es un auxiliar para el pasado. El did no significa nada en español. Solo es una, un, un auxiliar para expresar o para saber qué es pasado. Y se usa el did solo en negativo y en preguntas. Por ejemplo, yo no hice, yo no hice mi tarea. I did not do my homework. Ahí usamos el did not. ¿Ok? Hice mi tarea. Did I do my homework? ¿Ok? Pero si yo digo hice mi tarea, sería I did my homework. Como hice mi tarea. Entonces, se usa el did solamente en negativos y en preguntas. Aquí no usaremos el did en ninguna. Usaremos solamente la persona que es I, en este, perdón, she en este caso. Mire que se apaga la cámara, con el móvil cable. She en este caso, borramos el did, borramos el did, lo borramos y ponemos el verbo by ah, y... that computer. Okay. Y ahí está, más o menos así sería. Después Pero de no eso, va el, el, el verbo en pasado. Esa, a eso voy, a eso voy. Después de hacer eso, usted lo que puede hacer o lo que tiene que hacer es eliminar el verbo en presente y colocar ese mismo verbo en pasado. Ok. Ahí Ajá, está. lo que estaba viendo. Y no olvide, no olvide el puntito, que ese punto... Mire, si no pongo el punto, hasta correcto, sin el punto lo pongo sin el punto, para que vea. Que no la agarra sin el punto. Sí, no, no está. Ahora pongamos el punto. Así en la plataforma. <ríe> Welcome okay. to the platform. Observe ahí va. Sí. Yes. Ok, more questions? Eh, no, por el momento. Entonces, uh, trabaje en la plataforma, Sara, y me avisa. Me avisa, ok. Yes. Ok, está bien. Mañana. Voy a hacer eso y si tengo alguna pregunta, yo le escribo. Ok, thank you, thank you, Sara. Ok, cuídense mucho, que descanse hasta mañana. Nos vemos. Ok. Nos vemos bien. Ok, sleep well, bye bye. <laughs>